Hey everyone, welcome back to another Kevin's Creations here on Geektopia Island. I'm Kevin. And I'm Cardwell. We're back today with a brand new deck from the new set from the uh, Magic Stone War Zero. And it's going to be pretty wild. We're playing Red White with uh, Almerius and Mylest, and it's going to be uh, crazy. The deck's called the Bad Apple, and it's got a lot of weird shit in it, really. Oh, yeah. Uh, but before we get into it, guys, I just remind you that we do have a Patreon. The link is down below. Go check it out. It just takes a dollar to give us some love and support. We'd greatly appreciate it. Also down below, you will find our link to our FOW Grimoire, which is our deck database and deck builder at the same time. And it's got a lot of cool stuff in it. We we do all of the decks from it. We make everything from it. It's super easy. It's super just on the go, and you can just mess with it however you want. Um, but check them out down below, both of them, and we'll see you all there. All right, guys, let's delve into the Bad Apple. So first up is Almerius, the White Ruler. And it's one of the six ages, so we're still doing two rulers because, I mean, we're going to probably for a little bit because yeah. they're super good. And there's so many combinations you can do with them. Yeah. First up is Almerius. She's got Judgment of White, White, and One. Uh, tag Team, Six Sages. If you would just set your life, it sets at 3,000 plus. So you set at 7,000, which is pretty Which is ridiculous, ridiculous. yeah. Um, if you pay, you pay one less to do Judgments of Rulers you control, and then tap, target J Resonator, it gets plus two, plus two until the end of turn. And then she Judgments into a six, eight, uh, flying. Enter, put target light non-chant card or light alternative card with non-chant part from the graveyard into the field. Pay a white, J resonates your control, get plus two, plus two. So for the most part, you're just going to be using that to give your dudes plus two, plus two. And you can get back one of the creatures, but that's really about all you need it for. Yeah, which isn't too bad at all. And then of <clears> course, the tag team partner is Mylist. Uh, he has a judgment of red, 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 and one. Also a tag team, six ages. And at the beginning of the main phase of your first turn, you produce a red, so you're already ramping. And then your J-Ruler gains swiftness, just in case. And then tap, this card deals 200 damage to target player or resonator, and then that's just constant damage every turn. And then, of course, when you flip him, you judgment, he's a 0-7 with swiftness. But enter, this card, enter, this deals, sorry, this deals damage equal to the attack to each J-Resonator's your opponent's controls. And this card gains plus 300 for each card in your hand. So, there you go. He's going to be strong really quickly, and he got swift knees, so you're just like, cool, I'm going to kill you. Yep, exactly. Uh, the first resonator of the deck is the Firefox. It is one red for a 4-4. Four, four. Enters, you may deal 400 damage to you. If you do, this card gets plus one and swiftness until the end of the turn. So that turn one, you have two of these in your hand, then you cool. You get to play them both because you get the free red from my list, yep. and you get a redstone. It's just a classic that we're always probably going to use yeah. to be all... To be honest, uh, Chiffon, Spirit of Guidance, right? It's a one and a one, six, six flying, awakening, rest or recover light J ruler you control, enter, destroy target non-magic stone entity your opponent controls. Extremely powerful. Yeah. It's super good. I was like, it's a two drop that kills anything. E like, anything. Cool. And Great. Six, six flyer. Yeah. Thanks. All right. We're digging deep into the old school with this one. We're playing Athena, the Titan of Revenge. She has two red and one for a seven, seven of swiftness. Uh, whenever this card is dealt damage to you, or whenever damage is dealt to you, you put two one counters on this card, yep. pay a red, this card does 100 damage to each player. It's pretty simple. It's here for another reason. We're about to go over her, and that's she's just really strong for the deck, too. Yep. And the name stack of the deck, of course, is Snow White of the Red Apple, slash slash Apple Avenger. So she is a, a one-drop quick cast, zero, zero. It has first strike as well. But this card enters the field with X11 counters on it, where X is the total damage dealt by sources you control this turn divided by 100. So, pretty simple. But the chant part also has quick cast. This card deals X damage divided as you choose among any number of target J resonators your opponent controls, where X is the total damage that was dealt to you this turn. If X was 1000 or more, put that card Snow White Red Apple part of the field, and then she is just really big as 1000 as well. Yeah. So she gets to help you do a whole lot whenever you're, uh, like, when they when they swing in, you're like, cool, I'll take all that damage, play yeah. this, kill all your dudes, and get her for free. So, I mean, it's just, it kind of gets ridiculous. Yeah, it really does. Uh, next is Arl, the Seven-Tailed Fox, and Arl's Flame. It is uh, two red for a 6-8 Resonator. Whenever damage is dealt to this card, it deals that much damage to target player or J Resonator. And three red, put this card from a graveyard into the field. And its chance side is Arl's Flame. This card deals 1,400 damage divided as you choose to two, to target Resonator you control and target Resonator your opponent controls. Each Resonator has to take at least two damage. Yep. So you shoot your dude for two and you shoot their dude for 12. And okay. it's still kind of ridiculous. And if you really want to get cheeky, then you could do the split cost on the RL. And then you could, it says target player, so you can target yourself and then 
Snow White comes in, and then it's just a bunch of yeah. Weird and Snow White's gonna get a whole lot of damage because when she comes in, she just goes off a of damage dealt. Yeah. So you're just like, cool, fourteen hundred damage. She gets fourteen counters. Let's go. Enjoy. It's fantastic. And also to work with the damage dealt is Hunting Dragon. It's a 17, 17 for five fire mana. It's a it's a flyer, and then you may pay one red less to play this card for each damage slash J resonator, which you can also obviously do that. Enter, destroy all damage J resonators your opponent controls. This card deals 400 damage for each resonator destroyed this way to your opponent. And so, yeah, wipe their board and they take that a lot of damage for that. I mean, you get a free big 1717 and you kill them and hurt them at the same time. He's like a little baby Belial. Like <laughs> yeah, it. he's pretty good. Uh, first spell of the deck is Cane of the Salamander. It is one red. For an addition, enter. This card deals 500 damage to target player or J resonator. Rest to recover J roll you control. Target resonator gets swiftness and pierce until end of turn. So you can give your, your Snow White Pierce and Swiftness and be like, cool, die. Or you can give your Dragon all of that. It's kind of ridiculous. Uh, the super secret tech I would like to think of the deck is Secret Duel in the Moonlight. It's one red. It's one of the one, a long time ago Moon Arts <laughs> yeah. that came out. And we were all waiting to actually use this. <clears throat> so as an additional cost to play this card, you may pay any amount of life. Draw a card for each 1,000 life paid this way. Awakening, red. This card deals X damage divided as you choose to any number of targets J slash resonators, where X is the life you paid as additional cost. And Awakening of Moon, as well, J resonators gain minus one, minus one for each 100 life paid additional cost end of turn. So it's like final battle with extra steps. Yeah. And this card is really fun because if you have a hunting dragon in play and they have five dudes, then you just pay five life and you clear the board. Yeah. And then you got a 1717 yeah. flyer. Uh, next up is the Awakening of Zero. It is one white for a quick cast. J resonators you control gain eternal until the end of the turn. We're not playing zero, so the rest of it doesn't matter. Yep. But it's, it's just one white. You give my dudes eternal. Like, that's what it's there for. Which is so annoying still. It's still, still really still good. Still really good. The next is the Duet of Light. It's two white. And choose one. You may choose an additional one for each recovered J ruler you control. You can gain 2,000 life, which is very good. And then put target non-magic stone non-chant card or alternative card with total cost three or less from your graveyard into the field. You may only put a non-chant part of the alternative card into the field. Then, or put four one encounters on each J resonators you control, which you probably won't because the other two are just great. Yeah, but Snow White costs three total and RL costs three total. So you're like, cool, I don't care, I get either one of them. Yeah, so... Because it doesn't specify that it has to be any color, so you're just like, cool, I'll uh, get that dude. That's super gross. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, you killed my Arl? I'll get it back. It was, and I'll gain life, or put counters on it. Secret duel of Moonlight, you'd be like, I'll do 3,000, I don't even care, right? Yeah. And then you do this, and you gain like 2,000, and you bring Snow White back with all the counters. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty dumb. That's pretty cute. Can't wait. To uh, next that. is Twin Adder Spiral. It is a red and white quick cast, and it deals 600 damage to target player or J Resonator, and you gain 600 life. That's the only reason to be here, because you're paying life as you go, so it helps you negate some of it yeah. and kill a dude if you need to. So it's there for that. Seems good. That is it for the deck, guys. Really, it's super strong. It's going to be fun to play. It's just red, white, red, white silliness. Uh, we're playing Adirati's Memoria for the stones, the Magic Stone of the Six Sages, and two Moonbreeze Memorias, which is the White and Moonstone. Um, mostly we're just playing Red White, so we mostly have those two colors. Yep. And then there is one honorable mention, uh, but we're not really sure how exactly it works, but it's 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 okay for what it does. But it is Exorcist of Serto. It is a red, black, and one. If you're an 8-8, eight, eight, you pay 400 life. This card deals 200 damage to each J Resonator. So if you want to play this instead and put in black, you can. And then it helps your hunting dragon just be ridiculous because you're like, cool, pay four life, all dudes take two, kill all your dudes. Yeah, pretty much. And you can pay four on your life as much as possible to be able to do that damage, and then Snow White comes in and does more damage. Yeah, it's kind of gross, but yeah, yeah. you're just like, cool, you get all those free counters and free damage. Um, but overall, the deck's gonna be super fun to play, and we're just we're just gonna mess around with Snow White and see what happens because she seems really broken. Yeah. Um, but that the deck list will be down below. Go check it out, and then we'll see y'all again next time. Goodbye. Later. Also guys, make sure you hit that like button down below and subscribe to our channel and then hit that bell for any future notifications that you have for our videos. And we go ahead and give a big uh, thank you to our fans for over the years, especially our Mythic and Above Patreon followers. Thank you, Ryan. Uh, with that, we love you. Thank you for your support.